Hi, we have a question here in which there are multiple exponents and they also have the exponents also have exponents. So in this kind of a question, the first rule that we need to know is that many of our students actually make this kind of a mistake that a raised to the power b bracket raised to the power c. Actually, this has a meaning that a to the power b c the exponents can get multiplied when there is a bracket between them. But when we have a raised to the power b raised to the power c, that means you need to calculate this thing separately. For example, 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 3, while this becomes 2 raised to the power 6, 2 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 3, this becomes 2 raised to the power 8. And where do we get this 8 from? It is 2 cube. So that's how you have to calculate the exponents separately when the exponents have other exponents already. Now in this question, there are multiple exponents available here. So what we need to do is we need to just start calculating it from the highest possible powers, which means this can further be written as 4 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 1 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 3 to the power 4. Now there is a catch here. I can calculate 3 raised to the power 4 is 81 and 2 raised to the power 81 will be a very big number. But the thing is, the moment we have here 1 raised to the power something, this everything becomes just 1 which means this question is same as 4 raised to the power 3 raised to the power 2 raised to the power 1 because 1 to the power anything eventually is going to be 1. This can further be written as 4 raised to the power uh, 3 square. 3 square is 9. So this part becomes 2 square raised to the power 9 which can further be written as 2 raised to the power 18. Now the first thing that we can do here is instead of calculating it you can simply do a calculation of what is going to be the unit is it. So here comes another principle cyclicity to understand this principle cyclicity means after how many powers the unit is it of a number repeats. You can just check the videos at length which are available in my youtube channel here. For example the cyclicity of 2 is 4 which means the unit is it of the power of 2 keeps on repeating after every fourth power. So 2 raised to the power 18 will have the same unit is it as 2 raised to the power 4x plus 2 which means 2 raised to the power 2 that means the unit is it here is going to be 4 that's one thing which means option b d and e can be eliminated now we have the choices left only between option a and option c now let's also understand the exponents of 2 should always be remembered up to 2 raised to the power 10 because that sometimes is useful 2 raised to the power 10 is 1 0 2 4 and 2 raised to the power 8 is 256. Now we need to multiply these two numbers to get 2 raised to the power 18 which eventually will be approximately 256 followed by 3 zeros if I assume this number to be 1000 it has to be bigger than this. So the only options that I am left with now is option C because A can comfortably be eliminated and hence the answer of the question becomes option C. Thank you so much.